So this is an introduction to this next series of videos and this is the NCC 300 amplifier modules which we're going to build up uh, and I'm going to run into a bit of a, an intro in a minute or two but I'd just like to say none of this has been sponsored I do not get paid for this in any way shape or form from anybody uh, all this stuff I purchased uh, and doing it off my own bat as it would be um, so I'd just like to make that clear from the start this is just a DI, I'm just a DIYer a hobbyist um, that enjoys a bit of light engineering and a bit of electronics so we'll roll straight into the intro hello everybody this is going to be something a little bit different uh, it's going to be a <clears throat> Avondale NCC 300 power amplifier build um, we have a transformer with twin secondaries these are 35 naught 35 we have Avondale cap 6 modules two of those and I've got a couple of these boards and a big reveal Splendor, oops, the packaging. So, this is going to be a series of videos in this, and I'll run through how to build up. These are the regulators that supply this front, this front end, a positive re regulator, a negative regulator that supplies this front end board, and this is the power output stage here. And I know Avondale sent out a load, I don't know how many, but loads of people have got these and don't know what to do with them. Uh, in fact, I've had people turn up at my place asking if I build them for them, but it's so costly, um, it's it's um, almost prohibitive really. Um, it's you just as well go and buy the the ready-made boards but I don't think Avondale are now supplying these boards in a DIY um, environment uh, you can only buy them as a <coughs> or get them fitted into a case uh, predominantly a name case be it a 250 180 or whatever um, 135 so I know that there's a lot of people with these boards out there with some components and that's uh, as I say over a series of videos maybe four uh, I'm going to build up the, the regulators then the front end and then we'll build up the output stage and when we've done that we end up with something that looks like that something similar to that uh, this what this won't be the same this uh, heat spreader is not the same this is out of a different amplifier module altogether or a case rather and this is something else but it ends up looking something like that uh, and then what we do we're going to go put it all in a case so this is the case um, I may knock the camera while doing this and what we're going to do oof, is something like this we drop a transformer in there and a couple of power supplies and we'll end up with a couple of boards power out of our boards probably something like that not necessarily exactly like that but something like that um, and we'll end up with a fully working NCC 300 power amp. And I'll just drop them in. Something that way might be better. Something like that. Um, as I say, these heat spreaders uh, will be U channel type. 
as opposed to um, this T section. But it's going to be something like that in this case. This is a Mundorf case, Hi Fi 2000. Uh, it's a 2U, it's 400 by 400. Um, and the whole thing ends up looking like that. It's quite big. So to give you an idea, it is 440 by 400 deep. Going 90 high. That's without the feet, obviously. So the whole thing is going to fit inside there. Nice hunky dory. Uh, this case chassis work is nowhere near man enough to take the heat um, off these spreaders. So I'm I'm engineering a little uh, adaptation. There is going to be uh, a big aluminium plate fixed to the base of this. And then these via, as I said, U channels, which will become apparent, will be fixed to that big heat sink as it will turn out to be. So that's uh, the theory. In practice, it shouldn't be too difficult, just a nice little project, a bit of interest for, for those that have or may be interested to build this up. Um, and we'll go through sort of non-technical the A, B's and C's, one, two, threes. Uh, and we'll start by saying this, I believe, is a 1000 VA transformer. Uh, there's no markings on it, but the size and the weight of it, it's around about 1000 VA, I think. It's, it is ginormous. Um, it weighs a tonne. So, in effect, you've got it split 500 VA on each. It might be a bit less than that. Let's say it's let's say at worst case or best case, uh, 750 VA, 800 VA. Might even be an 800 VA. I don't know. There's no markings, so I can't tell. Um, but we're going to tag onto these. And it's so big. Uh, what I've done, I've made up. Oh, me. I've made up a mounting plate to spread the load. To spread the load across this, uh, this, this, this is just a, a two mil steel uh, plate on the bottom of this casework, so that will spread the load um, and help it out. Um, so there's the the plan. We're going to have a, a, an aluminium plate, five mil thick, I think it is, going across the bottom. These will affix to that. Oh, they U channel spreaders. Bit of AC. I'll have the speaker, in, uh, speaker outputs here, some inputs here, a uh, bit of a fuse. I might even, hopefully, I might be able to put some speaker protection in it if there's room. If not, I shan't. Um, but there it is. That's the start of the Avondale NCC 300 build. Many thanks for watching. I wish you all well. Uh, I will. See you in part two, where we'll start to to build these boards up. That's my first video. Will be we're going to build up these regulators, and then this front end supply, and then we'll build up the output stage. Mount that on the on the heat sink. Mount it in here. Wire it all up. Power up. Test and have a listen. So I hope that will be of interest to you. I wish you all well. Uh, I've got nothing better to do like many people. So I thought I'd do something I've been wanting to do. Knowing that people have these boards sat on their benches doing nothing. All the very best. This is Laverda, the implementer. See you in part two. Or part one. This is the introduction. So I'll see you in part one.